When I unboxed these incredible new trees in my last video, I knew they deserved beautiful urns to stand in. I just think urns elevate Christmas trees like nothing else. And while I did purchase a spectacular Christmas tree urn last year from Ballard Designs that I love, it's just too large for what I was looking for with these trees. I wanted something that was more proportional to the slim trees. And I also wanted something that was a little bit darker. So when thinking about how I could replicate this beautiful urn in a way that was smaller and a DIY version, what I came up with was the idea of purchasing two smaller urns and putting a pipe in the center. I then picked up these urns. The price was perfect at $19 a piece, and I thought I'd try them in this brown or coppery color, and they look really nice. Yes, they are plastic, but they are very heavy, durable plastic. Right here, I was just taking a look at how deep and wide they are on the inside and trying to decide where I was gonna wanna fill the cement to. My husband graciously offered to help me cut the pipe he used a coping saw here, which is like a miniature hacksaw. Hacksaw would have worked just fine. And yes, he's the one cutting it here, but I certainly could have done this. It was not difficult. Keep in mind, they will cut things like this for you at the store when you purchase it. So we're out here in the barn, and when I was trying to decide how I was going to stabilize these and keep them centered, I thought it might be best to actually glue them in place. So that's exactly what I did. I got out the hot glue gun which I don't know why I didn't film it. I'm sorry, I don't have that part of me just putting glue on the end of the pipe, but I put glue right around the rim of the pipe and put it straight on that central flat portion. And that was just enough to hold it in place while we added the cement around it. It worked out really well. And remember, if these are crooked or off center, then it's gonna affect your whole tree. So take a little bit of care here to make sure they're properly centered and um, in the right spot. Then we got some of this fast setting concrete mix by Quickrete. This stuff is really handy. There are instructions on the bag and on their website on how to mix this up. Basically you just make a paste form and trowel it into whatever you wanna fill. Again, my husband did it here, but it's not difficult to mix when you're doing small volumes, small quantities. So even if you had a bigger one to do, you could just do it um, in small batches in a bucket, and it's pretty easy to handle. It's quite doable, but hey, I had him there to help me, so why not, right? Once that was mixed to the proper consistency, we started to trowel it in. And I do not have it on camera here, but at first we accidentally dropped some down into the pipe and immediately panicked and dumped it all out because we didn't want any cement in the pipe that would affect potentially the height of the tree. No, I think that's good, don't you? Yeah, I think it's that's gonna give us the weight stability. You know, because I want it to be heavy enough that the tree has good weight stability at the bottom, but not so heavy we can't carry it without it being reasonable and we have room at the top. I think that's good, don't you? Yeah. Wait, high five. Okay. <laughs> Actually working perfectly with a stopper. For the second one, we were already wise and we put the pine cone right in the end. I was kind of aiming for that inner line because I wanted to have enough room to put some pine cones or some other filler in the top. And this ended up being pretty much the exact perfect height. This really took very little time. It was very easy, very inexpensive, and the results speak for themselves. I mean, this was just like one of the greatest, easiest DIYs I've done in a while, and I'm thrilled with the fact that these are not super heavy. Filling it to that particular line also means that they are heavy enough, like I said in the beginning, to provide the stability that you need in a Christmas tree holder, but they're not so heavy that they're gonna be miserable to move around. And in fact, I have no trouble moving these around on my own. Of course, make sure that cement fully sets before you use it. Just let it sit overnight. Oh, and another tip, once you've filled these up, Take a nice damp cloth and wipe off any cement that you may have smeared on the outside, on the lip, and that way you'll get off anything that you just don't want on the edge. Then you can pop your trees into these beautiful urns. Fill them up with some filler and 
Et voila, here is the beautiful DIY tree urn with tree in it. And these are just a fantastic addition to my holiday decor lineup. I hope that you give this a shot if you're interested in having your own. If you liked this, give me a thumbs up. Helps my channel out so much. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next video.